not-for-profit organization dedicated to um, providing public education, uh, providing opportunities to help families and individuals with disabilities network with each other, address issues of accommodation and accessibility within the Muslim community at events, programs, services, and we basically are here to support people with disabilities to be included in, in, within the Muslim community. So what are your main projects which are going on? Currently, um, we have a Deaf Muslims Holika that takes place at Masjid Toronto. Um, with Sheikh Abdul Hamid in partnership with Masjid Toronto. Uh, he presents a lecture in English that is translated, interpreted into American Sign Language for people who are deaf and hard of hearing, uh, who are sign language users. We also have our uh, task force on residential services in which we um, have uh, people, we have families, uh, community leaders like Imam Slimi and uh, Brother Jalaluddin um, participating. We're conducting a survey, a questionnaire with families to determine what their long-term needs are when the caregiver can no longer meet the daily living needs of an individual with a developmental disability or intellectual disability. Who are your main sponsors? Olive Tree Foundation has sponsored us, the community sponsors us, um, Olive Tree has been a long-term supporter. Uh, we have endorsements from many leading uh, scholars and community leaders internationally and locally. Um, we are funded through our own efforts and you know the generosity of the Muslim community. And sometimes we partner with organizations like Community Living and the Developmental Services Office to be able to do this type of outreach at uh, at Muslim events. So, so do you have an appeal right now, which any project you want to say something right now, currently emergency? Our most significant project is our task force. We want this questionnaire done. We raise money to be able to undertake research, to be able to sustain our drop-in activity nights and uh, you know our networking opportunities. We are basically uh, once we develop a specific model that we need as a community uh, for the provision of residential supports for people with disabilities.